Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Hero Fitness and Performance, Season 1, Episode 29. Um, I know, awesome mustache. Thank you. I appreciate your compliments. Um, <laughs> uh, so for today's workout, we've got one three-round circuit that we're going to do, uh, and then we have three time blocks that we're going to do in a row, and then we're going to have a really short time block interval thing that we're going to kind of do uh, at the end. It should be a fun workout. Um, you're going to need a pair of dumbbells uh, and a uh, jump rope. My dumbbells are 15 pounders. Um, something light to moderate would probably be uh, a good marker um, for what we're doing today. Okay? So, that said, hopefully everybody's warmed up a little bit, got a little sweat going. Let's go through a couple uh, movement prep dynamic exercises um, and stretches, and then we'll get rocking. Okay? So, let's start with those flamingos. Pull the heel into the butt to stretch out the quads. Make sure we're alternating sides on those. When we finish those, we're going to go right into the knee hugs, pulling it nice and high. And then lateral lunges next, shifting side to side. This is going to be a fun movement in the workout today. We're going to utilize this a little bit, so make sure we're nice and warm through the adductors here. As we finish those, reverse lunge, knee to the ground, hands to the sky or the ceiling. We'll push that hip forward, stretch out the abs and the hip flexor, and we'll alternate sides. After those, let's do a couple leg swings. Get those hammies nice and loose. We're going to use those. Right in the beginning part of the workout, just want to make sure they're loose, nice and warm and ready. All right, after those, a couple back slaps, chest and shoulders loose. Good, a couple arm circles forward. And a couple back loops. Good. So, like I said, we're starting off with a three-round circuit. Um, we we're going to start with a 60-second movement. Okay. Uh, we're going to use our dumbbells for these, and we're going to do an RDL with a reverse squat. So, you're going to balance on the one leg, grab the dumbbells. Okay. Reach down. Shoulder, hip, knee, and ankle should be in a straight line. Once I'm down here the arms come out to the side, okay? And then I stand back up would be one. So if you want a, uh, another view on the angle here, it's down, okay, halfway down the shin, fly, and then stand up. Each, each movement should be kind of separate on those, okay? We're gonna go 60 seconds on the one leg, 60 seconds on the other leg, okay, which means two minutes straight with the shoulder. So grab weights that uh, aren't gonna be too heavy for you, okay? So 60 seconds, RDLs to reverse fly, in two, one, go. Here we go, bounce on the leg, soft knee on the leg that's on the ground, reverse fly, bring the weights back together, then stand back up. Try to get the body in a straight line as you can. All right, when we get down to the bottom, once those weights clear the bottom of the knee, that's a good marker, okay, that you're ready to do the reverse fly. We want to end where our body's about as straight and parallel to the ground as you can get. My ground's a little sloped and lumpy. <laughs> Hopefully you've got a flatter floor. It means my body's a little crooked and lumpy as well here, right? About 20 more seconds on this side. We're shooting somewhere in between six and 12 reps per side, okay, is a good goal. So nice deliberate movement. Oops. Challenge that balance. We're not trying to rush it or anything. And switch to the other side. Two, one, go. Nice and slow, nice and smooth. Already starting to feel my shoulders working. Probably grab weights that are a little too heavy. <laughs> you guys know how poor my balance is. Just trying to hang in here.
looking good, guys. We're past halfway, nice and smooth. Fantastic job. Gonna wobble a little bit. That's good. Challenge that balance. Always better to start with lighter weight and then kind of work our way up, right? And rest. Okay, so next we have blast off push ups. Okay? Those uh, can look on the knees like this, come forward and touch. That would be one. Or squat back, come forward like this. Okay, this will be for 60 seconds. Then we have one more move after this one, okay? Two, one, go. 60 seconds. It's a long time block. So pace yourself accordingly. You don't want to fly through these. You want the shoulders, the chest, the legs, the abs, everything working here. The full body movement. Keep it up, guys. Past the halfway point. You'll get to lay down after this movement, okay? Look forward to that. Our last movement will be on our back. Just hang in there through this one, and we'll get to that one. That'll be your reward. And rest, okay. On our back, beginner version. We're propped up on our elbows. Legs are out. You read one leg up, the other leg up, both legs up. Okay, if you need to put start with your legs on the ground, that's fine. Challenge yourself a little more, have them off the ground. Advanced version, same thing. Okay, the legs are straight. Here, so it's single, single, double on the leg raises, okay? Two, one, go. Single, single, double. 60 seconds. Challenge those abs. Single, single, double. Do your best to keep your lower back flat to the mat. Pass halfway, abs should be burning. Break it up if you need to. Oh yeah, last couple seconds, last couple reps. And rest. All right, one set down. You know, actually break, pause the video. Everybody else, get your dumbbells ready. We're going into those reverse fly RDLs in two, one, go. Remember, nice and steady on the balance. Should be a nice smooth movement. Slow on the way down, solid hold. Slow out and up on the reverse fly, and then slow coming back up, finishing off that RDL. Or just get off balance and fall over like me, that's fine too. <laughs> nice and smooth, guys. Control, control, control. Remember, we've got 60 seconds here on this side, 60 seconds on the other, 60 seconds of blast off push ups and then 60 seconds of those leg lever abs. Three rounds, and then we'll move on. And switch, other leg, two, one, go. Keep it up, strong and steady. Find that balance. Pass halfway. The 
These aren't going to get the heart rate up through the roof, but they're going to burn from the bottom of the foot up to the glute. They're going to get the lower back working a little bit. Obviously, it's going to challenge the balance. You get the shoulders burning a little bit. This is a good challenge. Forces you to move slowly. Balance is something that a lot of people don't work on and often neglect. And it's something that if you don't use it, you lose it. And switch. Blast off push ups. Two, one, go. Back and forward down to the chest as close to the ground as you can get it. 60 seconds. Remember, 60 seconds, a nice steady pace. When we push back, try to keep the butt down. Don't let it push up, right? Knees should bend. As we go back, strong and steady on this movement. Almost there, guys. Hang in there. We're going to the alternating leg levers next with the doubles as well. And switch. Two. One, go. So single, single, double. All right. Try to keep that lower back flat to the mat. Nice steady pace. Legs can be bent or straight. Ideally, legs stay off the ground the whole time. If they have to rest on the ground to protect that low back, that's fine. Do whatever you have available to you. Pass halfway. Come on, abs. Come on, abs. And rest. All right, guys. Two sets down. One more to go. Okay, can you know, let's break, grab some water, pause the video. Everybody else, grab your dumbbells. Single leg RDL to reverse fly. Last time through, okay? Third and final round. And then we get to move on. Two, one, go. Find that balance point. Nice and steady on the way down. Squeeze those shoulder blades on the way back. Come back up nice and slow. Challenge that balance, guys. Nice and smooth. Don't rush it. We're going to get to high tempo stuff coming. This should be nice and slow, right? We're going to get the heart rate up. Don't worry. It should be elevated a little bit right now. Just not through the roof. Last couple seconds, last couple reps, hang in there. We're doing great. And switch. Two, one, go. Right into the other leg, all right? Last time through this circuit, last time on this movement, and last couple RDLs. We're getting there. We're getting there. Making progress. This leg doesn't like to balance. There's been a lot more time on this side. All those ankle breaks over the years, ankle rolls, have all added up. <laughs> Definitely cumulative and permanent damage. Uh. Hang in there, guys. Last couple seconds, last couple reps. We'll get to those blast off push ups coming up next. And blast off push ups. Two, one. Here we go. Last set of these. Try to those hips back and bend the knees. Get that chest as close to the ground as you can.
after this, single, single, double leg levers, and then we're moving on. Hang in there, guys. Last couple seconds, last couple reps. Switch. Two, one, go. Single, single, double. Leg levers. Last time through. Last station of the third round of this first circuit. Working hard, guys. We're almost there. I know those abs are already feeling it. Mine certainly are. Hang in there. And rest. All right, guys. First circuit is down. We're going on to the next circuit, okay? First time block. It's going to be an eight minute time block. We're going to have two exercises that we're going to do. Okay. The first one is a lateral lunge. Okay. You're going to hold the lateral lunge. Weight will be in the opposite hand. Front to side shoulder raise. Okay. So it looks like this. Out to the side with my left. Weight's in the right hand. Reach down into the lateral lunge. Raise front. Raise side. Come back. Push off and step together. That would be one rep. Okay. So I'm going to go 10 on this side, 10 on the other side, okay? When I'm done, weight goes down, beginner level, legs are at 90 degrees, you're going to try and reach up and get to your sock line, okay? Uh, intermediate advance, sit up, and you're going to try and clap behind your thighs, okay? Don't let your knees go in and out, they should stay as close to 90 degrees as possible. This is cheating, this is cheating, right? Hold them there, okay? Don't let them move. So, eight minute time block, lateral lunge, here, front, side raise, push off as one, you're going to 10 on this side, 10 on the other side, okay? And then 15 of those 90 degree sit-ups or clap sit-ups, okay? Eight minutes, here we go guys. Two, one, go. So lateral lunge, Front, side shoulder raise, best off would be one. All right, get nice and deep on those lateral lunge, just like we do in the warm up. All right, push those hips out, back, okay, and that way. Away, sitting on my heel. And again, this is an eight minute time block, still in the strength building stuff, so nice and slow, nice and smooth. Try not to let that outside hand rest or here, right? I'm holding mine up just to make sure that I'm not offloading any of the weight. I want my legs and my core and my shoulders to do all the work. I don't want to make this easier, all right? Challenge yourself. If you guys turn the video on, you might as well get the most out of your time and your energy and your effort, right? Once you finish 10 on one side, you do the same thing, 10 on the other side. When you're done with 10 on each, 15 of the 90 degree sit-ups or clap sit-ups, whichever one fits your ability level. up guys keep pushing uh, 
10 and 10, and then 15. Keep it up, keep it up. You're doing fantastic, pushing hard. You guys got this, no big deal. Just harnessing the power of the mustache right now, right? there I should say almost to halfway <sighs> that's probably not what you wanted to hear right almost there oh just kidding almost halfway you guys are doing great keep it up keep pushing challenge yourself get outside of that comfort zone strong and steady right not trying to push the pace too much yet trying to get those muscles burning so that heart rate starting to come up halfway just over three minutes left fantastic job guys keep it up all right less than three minutes left we got this everybody, hang in there, push it to the finish, strong and steady. Goal is to finish somewhere two to three rounds, okay? If you get four, you're a monster. Goal is somewhere two to three complete rounds, all right? As we get closer to the finish, you can obviously alternate sides on these lateral lunge shoulder raises, okay? Just to make sure that we're even on both sides. Right about two minutes left. thinking about evening yourself out if you can. Less than a minute guys, we're almost there. Kick 
you've got 45 seconds. You got this. Bring it home. Don't forget to even yourself out. Make sure both sides are even. 30 seconds. Last couple seconds, last couple reps. Hang in there, guys. You're doing great. Pushing hard, finishing strong. And rest. Okay, eight minutes circuit down. We've got a six minute, we've got a four minute, then we've got those interval time blocks there at the end, okay? So for the six minutes, you can grab your dumbbells, okay? If you're able to and you want to jump, we are doing 15 body weight jump squats, dumbbell jump squats, or jumping's not available to you, sore knees, different things like this. You're doing eight aside, alternating curtsy lunges, so 16 total. So 15 jump squats or 16 curtsy lunges alternating eight aside. With that, we've got a couple options. We're gonna do tricep kickbacks, beginner level. I'm here on all fours, comes up, kick back here, Back down, alternate to the other side, back down. It's going to be 10 aside, okay? If you want to challenge yourself a little more, you're in a push-up position, doing the same thing, okay? 10 aside. So, 15 jump squats or 16 alternating curtsy lunges, 8 aside. 10 aside on those tricep kickbacks in either all fours or push-up position, okay? This is for 6 minutes. Let's start in 2, 1. Go. Shorter time locks. We're going to pick up the tempo a little bit. As soon as you're done with the jump squats or the lunges, go down to the tricep kickbacks. These are 10 aside. So 20 total reps. 10 aside. Those are harder than they look. Remember, six minute guys. Six minutes. We're shooting for in between three, really two to five rounds, two to six rounds, okay? Push hard. Here we go. trying to control that breathing and that heart rate when we go from the jump squats to the tricep kickback. So a couple deep breaths, set yourself up and head right on into it. Okay, so 15 or 16 with eight aside on the curtsy lunges on the jump squats and then 10 aside, 20 total on the tricep kickbacks. halfway point just over three minutes left keep it up guys keep pushing fantastic job we're doing awesome keep it up oh yeah 
Yeah. Just under three minutes left. We're past the halfway point. Hang in there, guys. This is a tough set, tough circuit. You're doing fantastic. Rest is needed, brakes is needed, water as needed, okay? Hang in there and keep pushing. You're doing great. Under two minutes left, push it to the finish. We're doing great, guys. Fantastic, hang in there. Get that heart rate up, get that breathing up. All right, fantastic job. We're having fun now, right? aren't that bad. See standing tricep kickbacks are killing me. <laughs> okay guys, final minute. We'll get a break after this. You're doing fantastic. Keep it up. Final minute, final minute, final minute. Almost there. Last couple seconds. Last couple reps. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Rest. All right. Six minutes down. We got a four minute to do now. And then we'll get on to more conditioning stuff at the end, okay? So, four minute circuit, beginner level, reverse lunges, seven aside, okay? First exercise, intermediate and advanced, jump lunges, seven aside, 14 total no matter which version you're doing, okay? So no jump seven aside, jump seven aside, 14 total no matter what. With that, beginner and intermediate, no push up, five sprawls, okay, advanced, five burpees, okay? So, just reiterate, seven aside jump squats or reverse lunges, 14 total, and then five sprawls or five burpees, okay? It's a four minute time block. We're gonna push this one hard, okay? And then I'll explain what we're gonna do in the next thing after this. It'll be a 10 minute time block broken up into one and two minute intervals, okay? So, first things first, let's get this out of the way, right? Split jumps, seven aside, burpees five, four minutes in two, one, go. Again, this is rest as needed, water as needed, whatever you need, okay? Four minutes, it's gonna go quick, so push hard. Seven aside and five, no matter what you're doing.
Pull it down. Three more to go. Push, 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 guys. Keep it up, nice work. Cutting close to the halfway point. Just over two minutes left. We got this. There's the halfway point now, two more minutes. Oh, past halfway, guys. We got this. Hang it in there. This is a horrible four minutes, but we've only got two minutes left. You're doing great. Keep it up. seconds right we got this just over a minute left hang in there I know those lungs are burning Everything's on fire. Push, push, push to the finish. Less than a minute left, we're done with the circuit. Hang in there. Less than 30 seconds left. Finish strong. Less than 20 left, we got this. there probably getting little drool on my mustache here too all right guys if you don't like your break pause the video catch your breath everybody else we're gonna do an alternating one minute two minute circuit okay every time we do one minute it's gonna be jump rope we're gonna do minute two minute minute two minute minute two minute one minute okay start and finish with the one minute ten minutes total all right, so jump rope for every one minute. The first two minutes is gonna be rolling get up. So here, go down, roll back, stand. Okay, two minutes, we're trying to fit in as many as you can. If that movement isn't available to you, if you don't have the range of motion, whatever, body weight squats for two minutes, okay? Rolling get ups or body weight squats in our first two minutes. The second two minutes, alternating V ups. Okay, that can look like this here. Oops, excuse me. Beginner level, hands behind me, alternating sides. Okay, intermediate, and here. Okay, alternating jack knives basically. Uh, and then, advance, same thing, but legs are straight, okay? That's the second two minutes. The final two minutes, it's just a plank hold. Our goal is to hold for as long as we can, touch for less than three seconds, and continue going, okay? Each time you have to take a break, if you have to, less than three minutes. So, minute, two minute, minute, two minute. First two minutes, okay? Rolling get-ups or body weight squats. Then we have alternating jackknives, okay, on those three various levels, and then a plank, 
jump rope in between beginning and and then in between each one of those, okay? So here we go, starting with the jump rope for a minute, okay? Here we go. We're going in two, one, go. One minute jump rope, and then we're gonna go right into two minutes rowing get ups. This is our last thing we're doing for the day, guys. That's the 30 second mark. Oh no. Jump rope woes are back. <laughs> Don't forget, two minutes rolling get ups or body weight squat are coming up next. And switch. Two, one, go. Right into it. So we're going to get up or body weight squat, whichever one's available to you. You can always start with the rolling get ups too, and when we fatigue, go into the squats. So, squats are rolling get ups now. When we finish this, we got another minute of jump rope before we get to the alternating jackknife. Makes grass feel like rocks. <laughs> Give a nice spinal massage. <laughs> and by massage, I mean bruises. There's the halfway point, guys. One minute down. One more minute. We'll go back to the jump rope. Good job so far. Strong and steady. Hang in there. Warming up, who needs gloves? 30 seconds, we're going back to the jump rope. Almost there, guys. One or two more reps. And switch right into the jump rope. Here we go. One minute. One minute here. After this, going to the jack knives. Steady, you're past halfway. Jack knives are coming up next. <clears throat> come on, jump rope. Come on, Tyler. <laughs> I swear, I used to be athletic long ago. The galaxy far away, far, far away. And switch. Okay, alternating jackknives for two minutes, whichever version you're able to do is good. So two minutes here, back to the jump rope. No matter which version you're doing of these, one foot should always stay on the ground. Those abs working, guys. We're doing great. 
sound like Tony the Tiger. Great. There's one minute, we're halfway there. Really get those abs working. Make sure we're controlling on the way down. These are tough. You need a little distraction. Just stare at my socks. They look like a sunset. Pretend you're on a beach in Hawaii. Six pack is already there. And you're just doing these for fun, right? Uh. Less than 30 seconds left. We'll go back to the jump rope after this. Uh, hang in there. Talking to myself just as much as I'm talking to you. <laughs> And switch, jump rope, jump rope, jump rope, jump rope. One minute here. You got your last two minutes on the plank. And then the last jump rope, and we're done. So hang in there, guys. Less than four minutes total in the workout. About 15 seconds left. We're gonna go right to that paint plank. Start taking a couple deep breaths. Set yourself up. Get that breathing ready. And switch. Two minute plank. Here we go. Use this time to focus on your breathing. Nice deep in, nice deep out. You wanna hold the full two minutes. You can rotate to a high plank, to a side plank, whatever you need. If your knees have to touch the ground, no longer than three seconds, okay? It's all right. If you do a bunch of 10 second intervals, just don't let those knees touch for very long. Keep the tension on the core. Keep tension on the abs, focus on your breathing, and enjoy it, right? Stare at those socks that I have on. You're on the beach in Hawaii watching the sunset. There's a beautiful turtle uh, swimming in the ocean, maybe a few dolphins. Uh, although it does feel like sharks are kind of eating your guts right now, right? From the inside out. I know my abs are on fire, especially after those V-ups. Past the minute mark, we have about 40 seconds left. Hang in there, guys. I'm talking a lot about Hawaii because we're hopefully planning a family trip to Hawaii in 2021 if this COVID stuff starts to settle down. Although, it wouldn't be a bad place to quarantine for two weeks on Hawaii, except you'd probably be looking out your window at the beach, right? That wouldn't be as fun. Last couple seconds, we're gonna go to our last jump rope. And switch. All right guys, last minute on the jump rope, and then you are done. Enjoy it, savor it. Last part of the workout for today. Oh man, not good, not a good way to end. Gotta find my rhythm. seconds you're almost there 30 seconds 30 seconds to freedom come on my body thinks it's already done oh my gosh
and rest. <laughs> Man, that jump rope is a struggle for me. Oh, nice work today, guys. Great workout. Another, another fun one in the books. That was probably one of my favorite ones I've done in a little while. Uh, appreciate all you guys. Oh, here comes my little guy. Is he going to come say hi? Come here, buddy. Oh, no. It's Dino Boy again. Come here. Come say hi. Back by popular demand. Dino Boy. Hi. Hi. You ready to do a workout now? No. No? You don't want to do a workout? No. No, I don't think they do either. I think they're all done. Can you say hi to everybody? Was that a hi? <laughs> that was a roar. Can you say hi? No. No? And you got your s'more socks on too, huh? And, uh, and I your dino shoes. And some dino shoes. And your dino costume. And your dino costume. Better Thank you guys. Put a taco in here. What's that? A taco in here. You want to tackle me in the snow? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll go do that right now. <laughs> Thank you guys. Have a great rest of the day. Say bye again, dino boy. <laughs> bye. <laughs> <laughs> Episode 29 of the books. Have a great weekend. Have a great week wherever you're at in your week. And I will see you uh, in the next episode. I'm going to go get tackled in the snow right now, okay? Have a great day. See you next time. What are you doing? You just play tackling in the snow. Okay, let's go. You can't. I can't tackle you. Show me your dinosaur yumping on there. Good workout. Keep going. Can you do some more? You're gonna do push-ups now? Oh, good push-up. Another one. Two. Can you do one more? Good job. Now can you do some squats? No. No? <laughs> You're all upper body? Is that what it is? Here he comes, with your tail. Three. One, two, three. One, and two, and three. Five. <laughs> five, you count like my clients. Five. And five, ready again. One more. Okay, okay now what's next, Dino Boy, trainer? Run. Where are you running to? <laughs> wow, good running. Okay, what's next? You want to run too? Yeah, I want to run. Let's go. How do he get? Okay, what's next? Jumping? Yeah. Okay, let's do some jumping. Hey. And then what's next? Ready? Ooh. One. Uh, two. Uh, three. Uh, what are you doing? I thought we were doing push ups. Oh, you're going to get on my back now? Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. One, two. Oh no, are you falling? <laughs>